In this video, we're going to uh, take this gadget uh, model and we are going to synchronize it with a database which will create a new table. So in the previous uh, videos, we created a new gadgets controller that uses something called an application DB context. That application DB context has a reference to something in the identity model called the uh, DB set gadgets. So you go back and watch the previous video to see how that works. Now this is in preparation for creating a synchronization using entity. Now I want to go find the uh, window called Package Manager Console. If you don't see that, you can go to the View menu and choose Other Windows, and there is Package Manager Console right here. Okay, so we're inside of here. Now I'm going to type in the word Enable hyphen Migrations. Now this can be uppercase or it doesn't matter, and let's see what happens. So you can see the first line that comes up says, Checking if the target is, uh, or is, is using an existing database. So it's creating a database if it needs to, and then it's done. So let's go check the uh, Solution Explorer up here, and we have a new folder. It's called Migrations, and then it automatically updated this thing called Configuration. Let's go look and see what Configuration is all about. So it is going to do, um, has, a, has something called Seed, and if we want to, we can actually put data into the database. All right, so now I've got this uh, migration uh, enabled. Now I'm going to type in the word update database. So now I have uh, migrations enabled. I'm going to go to the command prompt and this time I'm going to type in the word add migration and then I'm going to give it a name. So I'm going to call it initial state and press enter. So now I have a message that says there, the designer code for this migration file includes a snapshot of your code first model. So what that means is it went and looked in my models folder and it was looking for the uh, gadget model because it was listed as one of the properties. Now what you see here is a migration file. So this is just a uh, an executable file and you can see that there is a uh, uh, method called up. So up means you know we're gonna run this and then there should be another one called down, I believe. So if we go down, you can see that it's like a, a reverse process. So the reverse process, you can see, is very short. It's just going to undo everything that the up function says it's going to do. Let's go look and see what's going to happen. So the first thing is, it says, I'm going to run a method called create table. And it's called uh, gadget models. Hmm, isn't that nice? So that's, that matches. And you can see that all of the properties in the database match up with the properties of my gadget model. So this here is the coding that we've done in the previous project. Now let's see what the rest of this is. So we've got something called ASP.NET roles, and that is for authentication and user login. So we've got user net roles, we've got a users table. You can see that the users table has a whole bunch of properties. And so because we selected a project that includes authentication, it's going to create all these tables for us automatically. So what else do we have? Uh, claims, we have logins, and then the rest of it. So we're going to see a new database appear in just a second. So now I'm going to type in the word update hyphen database and press enter. Now this script that you see on the screen is supposed to run and create some tables for us. So you can see that it ran a few commands here and it said it created a, a new database. Let's go find it. So I'm going to open up the, uh, the little folders here and choose databases. Now I've got one called James Bond Gadgets Entity and it has today's date. So what is today? Cinco de Mayo. How about that? Let's go see what's inside of here and let's go look at the tables. And what else do we have? Okay, so there's a whole bunch of stuff here for, that's all about logins and registration. So that's all things that were automatically done. Now the one customization that we've added is gadget models. Let's go see what's inside there. So gadget models has a script here that says uh, this is what we ran. It says we're going to create all of these uh, different uh, columns in our in our in our machine in our in our table. So let's go look at the data. See if there's anything in there. So there is no data. Okay. Now I'm going to populate this with more data. 
So we'll, uh, we'll do this and then we'll stop the video. So what I want to do now is add a new migration. So I'm not going to change anything in my models. I'm just going to type in the word add migration and I'm going to call it uh, fill database. Okay, so uh, fill database is complete. Now you notice in the migrations folder we have two different files. This one's called initial state and the newest one called fill database. So fill database doesn't have any any numbers in it, anything. So the up and the down are empty. So I'm going to now put some new code into here. So I'm going to give you some code to work with here. So I went to github slash shad sluter and uh, let's go see if we can find some of my repositories. And I believe that one of them will have the data that you need. Here it is, James Bond Gadgets. And uh, you can see that I have some files here. The one, I need, the one I need now is the last one here called Migration SQL Statements. So let's take a look and see what this is. This is pretty much identical to the SQL imports that we did from a previous assignment. So there's going to be a slight difference where I put in the prefix of SQL at the beginning. So I'm selecting everything on this uh, whole field here and I'm going to copy it. So let's right click and copy and I'm going to paste it into the up command. Alright, so there we've got 300 and some items and you can see that the uh, SQL statements now have a command here in front. It says SQL and a parentheses and a semicolon at the end. So I did some text searching and replacing to make this happen. Now when I'm done here I can save the results and type in the word update database again and press enter. And now all of these things should be inserted into my table. Okay, so it ran and doesn't seem to have any issues. So let's go look at the gadget models and choose view data and see what's in there. Right now there's nothing, but I'm going to refresh the page. And there we have it. So we have an entire database that is filled with a migration. So what's the point of this migration thing and why do we do this instead of just go to the database? In an entity framework, you're encouraged never to touch the tables themselves. You can go look at them, but don't go modifying uh, column names or anything, otherwise the whole migration process will break. But the advantage here is that your project, when you deploy it, has these migrations so that you have the initial state now and the fill database state. And if somebody runs the migration update, all of these things are now snapshots. They're captured in the history. And so that the database is now created along with the project. So you don't have to send somebody a separate SQL statement to load the database and then make the project work. Now, another thing is that if you want to, you can revert. You can say, I want to roll back the database and then go back to a previous state. So we're going to now start programming the controller and see if we can access some of this data, but that'll come in the next video.